can't believe I'm working at a museum. Not just any museum, the prehistory museum. Oh, I used to come here when I was a child. So good memories. So good. And they were good times. Good times they were. I used to love seeing that animatronic T-Rex, Rexy. Huh. I wonder what happened to him. They say he shut him down. I didn't get the rest of the story. Or should I say the rest of the scoop? Huh. One of, and they had a new exhibit. They replaced it from statues of animals to real-life prehistoric animals. I don't know if they're telling the truth or not. Huh? What the? Who's calling me? Where's the dang phone? Hello? Oh. Uh, hello? Oh, it's a recorded message. At that office. I used to work at it, so, uh, hi, I'm the... I'm your instructor guy, or should I say, sorry, I mean instructor for the day, but I'm not here right now, I'm at a, um, I'm, at, I'm at the part, at a party. A party? Why is he at a party while I'm working here? Uh, you see, we are, well, you are the new worker of the Prehistory Museum. And today, I'm not talking to you from a f phone. I am talking to you from a phone, but from this computer here. It's a recorded message audio. Oh. So, let's get started. Now, uh, if you know this is to help you watch all the animals and the exhibits of the museum. Animals? What animals? Yeah, um, there are prehistoric live animals to be done, exact. Uh, press one of the buttons. What? Press buttons? Oh, he means this one. Well, I'll be dang, there are animals. There's a... Oh, a pig? Wait a minute, what type of... Animals had. Wait a minute. That's a saber toothed cat. I thought they were extinct. Yeah, if you're wondering why these animals are here in modern day, and if you saw a saber toothed cat or a giant hyena or some kind of giant cheetah, those are the animals that were genetically modified and brought back to life by using DNA. They eventually found DNA inside uh, the fossil amber of a mosquito so sounds like doesn't sound like your sounds like your ordinary Jurassic Park doesn't it sorry it's just I'm very worried and very scared of, for you worried and scared why eventually some someone or something le lets out all the animals at night and something is messing or someone is messing with the animatronic dinosaurs that we have. Oh, and speaking of which, we have also live dinosaurs. Oh yeah, I saw them. Man, that was amazing. Seeing two ceratopsians in sauropods right outside. Yeah, they're outside and they live while the animals come inside at night because they are afraid of something, and we do not know what it is. They usually like going outside tonight, but suddenly they used when they were they weren't like this. They just stay inside. I don't know why. I don't know why either. Now there are other cameras that point to the building. Let's see. Wow, there's the exhibit where the animals are. And we also have 
other animals, like, not just live dinosaurs, but other prehistoric animals. Like, there's a, a giant cheetah. She always stares. Yeah, we got moving cameras as well. They always move around the walls so it would be easy for us to look at them. She always stares at the wall. The giant cheetah just mostly stares at the wall. Or, or should I say glass? She eventually doesn't move or nothing. It's just kind of weird how she can't move. And if you're thinking, why are there aren't any windows? There are because you, but you can't see them. Okay, Th they're just invisible from you. Yeah, we had a pit there, but a child fell in during the the animal's attack on 1999. And it was very bloody and gory. Yeah, we brought these animals back to life during the 1990s. It was in... The animals were first brought back to life by uh, 1993. Yeah, and if you're wondering, that's the year when Jurassic Park came out. Yeah, that's right. That's it. This is our Miocene period exhibit. It's where it shows all the animals from the Miocene period we brought back to life, like... The giant cheetah, of course, we don't. It's from the Pleistocene era, but we eventually put her there because we don't have other Pleistocene animals. We also have a hippopotamus, a prehistoric one, and a pecaria, a saber toothed cat, and a, a hyena called Dichronodon, I think. Dichronotherium, Dinocrotherium, I think, yeah, but I'm sorry. Dinocrotherium. And there's also a water exhibit. We gotta see that one. I must warn you, though, there's something in there, and the water, in the water, under it is a forest. Oh, that sounds neat. Let me see others. I can't deny about what or who is letting these animals out at night out of the museum, but it is just... This museum's freaking huge. If you're seeing the giant T-Rex right now, yeah, we they built him uh in 2000. He is really big, ain't he? You say that you can say that again. He's really huge. Look at him, man. He's much bigger than me. He can't fit through all the hallways. Man, he is huge. Look how huge that head is. Wow, what is that place? Oh yeah, that's the uh, that's the f lights of the future where they show uh, brightening lights that could be perfect for cities, like a huge one. That's really cool. That one's a giant generator. And we have other exhibits like the Giant Generator Light and Light Museum where it shows the future of the lights and generators for power. Yeah, it's really neat, ain't it? If you're seeing that, well, yeah, it's really neat, ain't it, is it? Yeah, it is really neat. Whoa! Oh, he scared me. And there's also one exhibit called the Raptor Exhibit. Oh, gotta get this focused. There we go. The the cameras kind of eventually always go a little foggy or a little fuzzy on the raptor, but you have to tap them every each or back up. There we go. That's better. Until then, he some people, the last night guard had told me that he attacked him. That's really crazy, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't even believe myself if I heard that story. But eventually, I don't believe him. But this raptor, he says that it got a little glitch or something. It started twitching, and then it started moving, and then started running towards his office, and then attacked him by biting down on his head. And he was sent to the hospital. But the next morning, I found him with several head bites, with bites on on his head that looked like they were pierced through by a giant drill. Holy crap. Like, 
little drills. But until then, when I examined it, it belong it was the perfect shape for the raptor's teeth. And I mean, I was freaked out and I got scared. Can you believe that? Oh yeah, by the way, the name's Josh. So, I'll be coming back tomorrow to see you. Even though you didn't see me this time in person. Well, I must go. Have a good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, right. A raptor. Animatronic moving by itself. Like I can believe that. Let's see, where do they put my favorite T-Rex animatronic in? Uh, the direct, the museum director said they put them in storage, so I'll just go look in the storage room. There he is. Aw, poor Rexy. His head came off. How'd that happen? Well, whatever the cause. Poor Rexy. He was my favorite T-Rex. I always remember that silly voice he had. All right, children, follow me. Ooh. And look at my home. This is my home of the Cretaceous. Ah, uh, good memories. And wow, I can do a great impression of him. And also, I... Wait a minute. Did I just see his head move? Wait a minute. Who's moving that? I better go look in the storage room. Hmm. No one was here. That's that's weird. I don't see no one. That was weird. No one was near Rexy? Well, I better get back to work anyways. Okay, let's see. Oh, looks like the animals are playing very nicely. I still don't know why there was no one. Even though...